Hello, I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to improve your audio in Adobe Audition. So first I will play two sounds, one without effects and one with effects, so you can definitely hear the big difference between those audio files. Okay, so this is just a preview that I am recording with the Zoom H1 microphone and then I will import this in Adobe Audition to make it sound even better. Okay, so this is just a preview that I am recording with the Zoom H1 microphone and then I will import this in Adobe Audition to make it sound even better. So as you can hear, there is a big difference and we will do that right now. So I'm here in Adobe Audition, I'll right click and I'll import my audio file. So this is my audio file, I'll click open and here is my clean audio. So I'll delete uh, these parts because I don't need it and then you can start adding effects to it. So right here in the effects rack we will use the effects rack to stack up effects. Uh, if you don't see that you can go to windows, uh, well window and then effects rack right here. Um, but we will only use one because there is only one effect that I really think that really changes the the audio itself. So we'll click on this arrow and then we will go to filter and EQ. So here we will select the parametric equalizer and there we go. So we have this window right here. On the bottom we see this button here and if we click it, it's going to enable it or disable it. So if it's deselected and the effect won't be applied, if it's selected the effect will be applied. But right now there is nothing that changes because the effect hasn't been made. So you can go over here to the presets and choose one of these presets and go over them so you know what these effects are. Maybe you, you can use them in different kind of uh, solutions, but for in this video we don't need these presets. We will just make our own. So we click on this one here um, because we don't need the first one. Um, well, maybe we, sh we could use the first one. And then the fourth one, we don't need that one as well. So go to four and just click on it and then it's going to delete these uh, these buttons here. Um, maybe the fifth, uh, we can we can keep that one. So uh, right here, I will just drag uh, this uh, lower part here, and I will drag it up. And like, go to the start of your video, uh, start from zero. So uh, like, start from scratch, zero decibels, and just play your audio on the background. So you're going to hear that audio in a loop, and then you can just start bringing this up and really hear the difference, and just go until you you think it's it's right for you because every audio file will be different so just play with this until you think that it looks well uh, until you think it sounds okay and for me most of the times that's around here but yeah don't take me on this one it's completely up to you whatever you like so maybe a little bit less and then here in the middle we'll bring this down a little bit so just a little bit like this uh, you can also try to put it up uh, on top here, just bring it up a little bit and just hear the differences. So I'll bring this down for my purposes, um, but just really play with this. You will, can, you will really get a lot of different uh, audio here. So something like this uh, sounds great. So this one we will bring up. So these are the high tones, mid tones and the lower tones. So the L really goes for the bass tone. So it's going to bring up the bass tones and that's going to make it look, yeah, sound a lot more professional, I guess. So I really like this one here. And then the mid tones, we can take them away a little bit. So it's kind of evened out. And then the highlights, well, the highlights is actually just the, the pitch tones. And that's going to, um, yeah, accentuate everything a little bit more. So um, around 10, I guess, is okay. And once you're satisfied with something, you can just save this preset. So uh, click on it and then save it and it's going to come up here. And then you can close this down, but you will see it right here in our effects rack. But right now we can see, we can actually hear the effect. We can click on here to disable it or enable it. But if you're going to save your audio file, um, the effect won't be applied to it because you have to apply it. So just apply it by clicking on this button and your audio will be different. So if you play this back, you will definitely hear a big difference. Um, I really encourage you to really mess around with these settings and just find something that you like because you can do a lot of cool things with this effect. But I just wanted to show you because I always use it and I love it. It really makes my audio sound a lot more professional. 
So that was my tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, subscribe to the channel to see more of my tutorials. It's all around filmmaking. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.